Greetings, this is Trev from OnlinePCLearning.com. I'm going to show you how to make a poster just like you see in the video. This was made in PowerPoint 2010 and it uses some tips and tricks and effects that you may not be aware of and I'm going to run you through how to do this. You can download this poster from my website, play around with it and change it if you want, but the main thing is to try and get across some of the features that are in PowerPoint that enables this sort of production. I'll show you basically how it's done so that you can make a decision as to whether you want to stay on and watch the remainder of the tutorial. The first thing that we do is add a shape to our slide and then add gradient fill and I'll show you the dimensions and all of the setups for that. The next thing is we find a picture background that we're going to use that sits behind the image. We want to give this a 3D effect so we're going to put the image, cut it out and pull it out and then sit it back on top of a background image. That's our second step. Then thirdly, we add a picture of our basketball player. We've just taken these things from clip art. It's just one photo from clip art that we're working with. We take the background out here and just put in the pieces that we want and we put a bit of a picture effect to make this picture look a little bit special and stand out. You notice it's got that 3D look to it because of the different layers that we're putting into the poster. Right, that's the next step. And finally, we add some word art to just bring it all together, to say what we need to say. The poster grabs attention and here is what it's going to say to the public. Well, would you like to see how to create this? Okay, I'll take you through the slides one at a time and show you the setup. Now, just before we get started with this, I've got to mention that, as you know, PowerPoint is set up to do slides in a landscape portrait and at a smaller size than A4. What we want to do is just go to page setup here for a moment and make sure that we have this set to custom, portrait and set to a width of 21 centimeters by 29.7. If you want to print it onto A4 or even to A3 because they're the dimensions that are basically are going to give you the aspect ratio that you need. 21 well, wide, 27, 29.7 high and portrait. So do that first. If you don't do it first and you go ahead and create your poster and then change your aspect ratio of your slide, everything's going to distort and you'll be one very unhappy little developer. Okay, what are the settings for this gradient fill? Well, first of all, grab a shape by going to insert, then to shape, grab a square shape here, a rectangular shape, and put it all over the page. And when you've done that, these are the settings that you'll need to put in to get this effect. Now, the easiest way to do this is just to right click and up the top here, your little mini tool, formatting toolbar comes up. Just click here on the fill and then choose gradient and then more gradient. There's many ways to get to the um, format shape dialog box. And an instance, in this instance, you want to go to the fill tab and here we have gradient fill. Now, the first thing, we're not going to touch the preset colors, but we are going to set the type to radial, which means it's going to radiate out from the center. Leave the direction as it is and put in three points of color. The first will go over here to the right, which is a blue. Here it is here, it's the third one from the left hand side or the fourth one from the left hand side. Now the settings for that are 100% and nothing else has changed. Brightness and transparency are both at zero. At position 71%, so that's 71% along the slide here, 71% of the distance along. Put in a black gradient stop. So I don't need to show you where black is, there's black there. So a black gradient stop again at 71%, zero, zero. Now here put in a white one at 51%. And we've changed the brightness here to 15%. So they're the settings to get you, if you do exactly what I've showed you there, you'll get this gradient fill in the background. Now at this stage, we want to insert some clip art into here. So we'll go insert, and then we'll look at clip art. Here it is here. Into the clip art, type basketball. When you've typed in basketball, click go. And we'll have a look at the basketball as we can choose from in here. This is the image I've chosen, so we'll just click on that and bring it over here and put it onto our frame. There it is there. Now. We don't want this picture just yet, we just want a bit of the background here, is all we're after. It's a little bit of the court and something of the scenery here. So we'll crop this picture down. 
With the picture selected, the picture tools tab appears. Go over to crop and click the crop button. Now pull this down until we get the piece of real estate that we're after. That's the piece of real estate we want just there. I think that'll be just about fine. We might even just take it down a little bit more. When we've got that piece of real estate, we want to actually put this behind the player to give us a 3D effect. Okay, so let's now click crop. And that's our picture. All right, we'll increase that in size, grab the corner and pull it out. You can hold your shift key down if you don't want to affect the aspect ratio. That should be around about the size that we want. Okay, let's have a look at the settings for this now. So first of all, under the picture tools again, under the picture styles, click down and choose this style here, which is relaxed perspective white. So click on that. That's the style that we want to give to the picture. That's our first property that we're going to put in there. After we do that, after we do that, again under the picture tools and format, I'd like you to choose the artistic effects. And you'll notice here we've just allowed it to be the default. You can change that to a blurred background if you want. You can see it changing here. You might want to use one of those as well. I've just left it standard. And under color, we've gone to color tone and we've moved along to the third one along which just has changed the color setting for us all right so they're the settings that we need so let's go over to our clip art again click on the picture put it again on top of our slide but this time we're going to crop it down well actually no we won't need to crop it this time we're going to just take the background out now this is going to take a little bit of work under Picture Tools Format, click Remove Background once again. And now you're going to have to work with it until you put in a little bit of the hoop, which is what I wanted. Maybe include the actual size for the um, Remove Background area. To remove the background, all you need to do is to mark areas to remove here, which will remove them if you run the pencil over them. I'll show you quickly. And mark areas to keep, which is going to allow you to add things like this basketball hoop see it's being added in there now so keep doing that until you have it just as you want it well what's the next thing we're going to do now that we've got our picture just as we want it what we're going to do is we're going to give it a picture effect so under picture tools again under format this time go to artistic effect and you'll notice i've chosen this effect here which is the crisscross etching effect i like that but you don't need to do it if you want you can just have it plain that will give you the plain effect. When you hover over all these, it's going to give you a preview. There's some really great effects in here. Choose the one that you think would best suit your poster. Now our final step, well, we're nearly there, is just to add some word art. How do we add word art? Well, we go to insert, and then we'll choose word art. Choose whatever one you wanted. You can vary the, the text and styles to suit whatever you want in your personal needs. Now I've put an effect in here with this word art. I've I've used a, a text uh, called Chiller. I thought it was rather cool. I thought it would appeal to the young. Slam dunk competition is done in Chiller. And then I've put some text underneath it in the same word art frame, but changed the font so that it's going to stand out. Morningside Community Centre. And we've given it an arc. Now, how do we get that arc? Well, what we do is we go with the um, word art selected. So you've got a straight line around your word art, as you see it there. Go to the Drawing Tools tab that now appears, click under Format, and there where it says Text Effect, go to Transform and choose the one that you want. Now I think for this one I've chosen this here, I'm not sure, but I believe that's the one. Anyway, you can choose the one that you want, and when you do put it in there, this little red dot here will change where the word art moves on the page. So by pulling that red dot across, you're moving the, the word art around, increasing the circle or moving it to one side or the other. So by applying these simple things that are already part of the Microsoft Office suite that are in PowerPoint, you can create fantastic post posters in just seconds. These really have a professional glow to them. This is Trev from Online PC Learning. It's been real fun bringing you this tutorial. I hope you benefited from it. If you've got some other tips that you'd like to pass on, get in touch with me. Go to the website. You can download this file, play around with it, add. You can see exactly what we've done by pulling it to pieces. All the slides will be there, as I've shown you here. You can see step by step what to do. 
and contact me if you're having any troubles and I may be able to help you. This is Trev. Thanks again for listening and bye for now.